is after the Supreme Court had empowered the Delhi government to transfer or appoint bureaucrats, heads have now started to roll. Incidentally, one of the first three to be shunted out was Y. V. V. J. Rajashekhar, the Special Secretary of the Vigilance Department. This IS officer was entrusted with the probe into the Times Now expose operation Shish Mahal, where we revealed the rupees 45 crore splurge on building a lavish residence for the Chief Minister in the midst of a pandemic. In a note dated the 11th of May, two days before that report was to be submitted to the uh, Lieutenant Governor's Office, AAP's Vigilance Minister Saurabh Bhardwaj divested Mr. Rajashekhar of all of his cases. Remember, on the 29th of April, the LG had ordered a time-bound probe by the Chief Secretary into the matter. Bhardwaj has accused uh, the officer of running an extortion, which he says is quite serious and needs to be examined. This is the Ahmadmi Party Minister's claim. He also orders all cases to be withdrawn and reassigned to others. The IAS officer, however, has hit back, terming the action against against him as an afterthought, Raj Shekhar in a letter to the LG, the Chief Secretary and Secretary of the Vigilance Department said that he must be allowed to perform his duties objectively and dispassionately as per the rule of law. He also asserted that vigilance inquiries are done as per set laid down protocols and manuals and that there is no scope for any subjectivity into the matter. The BJP has alleged that Rajashekar was maliciously targeted by the Ahmadmi Party Sarkar to prevent him from probing the rupees 45 crore splurge into six Flagstaff Road. Let's listen in to the reactions. जो उनका महल है उसको लीपापोती की कोशिश की जा रही है आप ऑफिसर्स को डरा रहे हैं कि सच सामने ना आए जब लोगों को कोविड का इंजेक्शन चाहिए था और आप शीश महल बना रहे थे उसका सच सामने आया और सच को सामने लाने वाले विजिलेंस अधिकारी को आपने बदल दिया केवल इसलिए बदल दिया कि उसने सच सामने लाया था जो लोग उसका सच बता रहे हैं उनके सच को रोकने के लिए लगातार आम आदमी पार्टी प्रयास कर रही है जिस तरह से अरविंद केजरीवाल और उनके मंत्री ईमानदार अधिकारियों पर कार्रवाई कर रहे हैं ये चिंताजनक है विजिलेंस डिपार्टमेंट के एक अधिकारी जिन्होंने शराब घोटाले में जांच की और जो अरविंद केजरीवाल के करप्शन 45 करोड़ की जांच कर रहे थे उनको आज जिस तरह से बर्खास्त करने का नोटिस दिया गया है शंट करने का नोटिस दिया गया है ये दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण है मतलब दिल्ली में अगर अब कोई अधिकारी ईमानदारी से काम नहीं करेगा इनके दबाव में काम करेगा और मैं तो हैरान हूं मुझे तो अब चिंता होती है और मैं बड़ी विनम्रता के साथ कह रहा हूं कि माननीय सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने जो निर्णय दिया है उसका किस तरह से दुरुपयोग दिल्ली सरकार कर रही है ये चिंता का विषय है well, let me go across to my colleague uh, Mohit, of course, who's been tracking the developments in this particular story as well. Mohit, the Amami party did not waste any time, or the government rather, in transferring uh, officials once it won a Supreme Court order in their favor. But the specific transfer of this one official, Mr. Raj Shekhar, of course, dividing public opinion and also political opinion with the BJP saying that this is an act of malice. Well, yes, Siddharth, and what the BJP is saying is that as the Special Secretary of the Vigilance Department, YVVJ Rajshekar was handling uh, very serious and important cases, and the, he was also overseeing the probe of various important, important scams. Now, what the BJP says that, uh, BJP says that just because he was looking into the matter of the alleged liquor excise policy scam and also uh, the money, that money that was being used in Arvind K. Rival's house, the taxpayer money to renovate innovated, reconstructed and we have shown in Operation Sheesh Mahal that how exactly 45 crore rupees were being used for renovation and reconstruction of CM Bungalow and after that we have seen that how uh, the matter went to the Vigilance Department and what the BJP says is that these are the two important important uh, cases that he was overseeing, one being the uh, excise policy case and another being Operation Sheesh Mahal that how money was being uh, spent on Arvind Kejriwal's residence, reconstruction and renovation and BJP says that is why 
to stop him from discharging his duty. This action is being taken. Now, what the Aam Aadmi Party says is that this particular IAS officer was running an alleged extortion, uh, extortion racket, and that is why all the work that has been assigned uh, was assigned to him has now been taken away. Now, this comes after just after a few days when the Supreme Court decided that the services in Delhi will be controlled by the Delhi government, and we have seen that how exactly Arvind Kejriwal came out and he stated that now he will be able to work for the betterment of people. And various Aam Aadmi Party leaders uh, came out and they stated that this is what they wanted. They wanted that they should work for the people of Delhi, and with this order of Supreme Court, they can easily uh, they can easily transfer or have posting of certain officials who they, according to them, are working for the benefit of people of Delhi. But after this particular this particular decision by the Delhi government, the questions are being raised. The BJP goes on to say that just because this particular officer was looking into the alleged liquor scam and uh, the findings of the Operation Shishmail and also Siddharth, uh, we know that how Times Now also did a story that how in a place of heritage monument, a house of the DJP official who is said to be very close to the top brass of the Aam Aadmi Party was constructed. Okay. That particular case okay, was Mohit, also with the vigilant department the, the and the BJP says this is that, why uh, this particular person has been removed well from his post. In which uh, Mr. Raj Shekhar of course has been uh, probing certain other issues as well pertaining to transactions uh, related to the Delhi government. Let's in fact take a look at what these other cases are uh, as well which we'll show you on our screens right now. So first and foremost of course uh, Mr. Raj Shekhar was also looking into uh, the uh, splurge of rupees 45 crore in the construction or the so-called renovation of the chief minister's residence on 6 Flagstaff Road. So that is the first transaction that was under his scrutiny, uh, which pertains to, of course, the splurge of the 45 crore rupees for the so-called renovation of Arvind Kejriwal's uh, residence. So the Shish Mahal matter is one of the matters that Mr. Raj Shekhar had been probing. Let's also look at some of the other cases that Mr. Raj Shekhar had been looking into, which pertains to excise department uh, transactions uh, and, of course, matters related to the Prevention of Corruption Act. So that was something else uh, that Mr. Raj Shekhar was also looking into, uh, which pertains to the liquor, uh, okay, uh, liquor gate matter, as well as the transactions and the cases that have been filed under the POCA against Delhi government officials in this particular case. The third case that uh, uh, Mr. Raj Shekhar was looking into was the feedback unit uh, case pertaining to the setting up of a separate intelligence unit, which the Lieutenant Governor of the National Capital, Mr. Vinay Kumar Saxena, had taken cognizance off and called for the ordering of a probe into that particular case as well. The next case, of course, uh, that uh, Mr. Raj Shekhar was looking at uh, was allegations of overspending on the part of the Delhi government into political advertisements as well. The LG had uh, taken cognizance of this too and ordered a probe into this matter as well. The final case that Mr. Raj Shekhar was looking at was also pertaining to the alleged hiring of Aam Aadmi Party workers uh, in the Mohalla Clinic venues, which was, of course, an important initiative that was started by the Aam Aadmi Party Sarkar in the national capital. Uh, the alleged favors being extended to certain Aam Aadmi Party workers in hiring at Mohalla Clinics was something that Mr. Raj Shekhar was also looking into. So a series of matters that were being investigated by the now transferred IS officer, Mr. Raj Shekhar. Turning our attention now to a very important development pertaining